What is a botnet? A botnet is a network of hijacked computers that are used to carry out cyber attacks. Botnet comes from the term robot, so the end part there, bot, and network. So it's a network of robot computers. What are botnets used for? Well, the most common one is a distributed denial of service attack. When they target a particular server or website with multiple requests in order to make that server or website crash. Spam can be used to send adverts or fake messages to people in order to spread malware. Phishing attacks in order to get people to give out information that they're not supposed to give out. If you want to learn more about phishing, go to our video on phishing, link in the description. And brute force attacks where you use multiple computers to try different combinations of passwords or email addresses to try break a particular combination or get the correct password. If I'm the person that's controlling the botnet, I'm often referred to as the bot herder, and I will then take control of multiple computers to add to my network of bots. I can use viruses or phishing attacks in order to create this botnet, and these computers are under my control, and they are often referred to as zombie computers. And I will then make these zombie computers do my bidding as the bot herder. Now, things to take note of to protect yourself from becoming part of a botnet. First of all, be careful of links. Don't click on links that you're not too sure about. Make sure that if you get a link in an email that it's not a phishing attack. Always do your research to make sure that you're not clicking on a link in a fake website or a fake advert that could get you into trouble. Have good passwords so that people can't hack into your computer very easily and put software there that you don't want them to put there. Have anti-malware. In other words, antivirus or anti-spyware software that can protect your computer from illegal access or from other people accessing your computer. And always update your software. There are lots of security loopholes that appear in different programs and by updating it, you will then fix those security loopholes. And those are what I suggest you do in order to protect yourself from becoming a part of the botnet. Let us know which computer term you want us to cover next by leaving a comment. Also, click on that subscribe button and share us with your friends. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.